This expansion will allow us to have state-of-the-art surgery for our, our, the members of this community. Uh, at the same time, obstetrics has changed dramatically, become more patient-oriented, that requires more space, it's more family-oriented, and the expansion will allow that to happen. The oncology wing is absolutely necessary to do state-of-the-art cancer care. Our community has grown so much since this facility was moved into in 1991. And we're so pleased that now, after this next phase of construction, we will be able to address the community's needs in three important areas. Our family birth center, our oncology cancer care area, and our surgery department. This new project will add space, which is critical to all of the new medical technologies we want to add in order to serve our patients here in Jackson. It also gives us space for family members to be with the patient as they're recovering and healing. Being able to take care of patients with cancer in this community is so important. It can be really a devastating disease, and the additional stresses of travel really take a toll. Well, part of our, our goal of coming here from the Huntsman Cancer Institute has been to create a liaison between a small hospital like St. John's and a big place like ours. There are many examples where treatment at Jackson has saved people a lot of time and travel, not just travel in terms of many hours to Salt Lake City or to some other larger city, um, but keep in mind those are often big places that are maybe more impersonal uh, where things can't be done as efficiently. I often tell people down our institution there are some things that are far better about a small hospital. I can get things done a lot more quickly and efficiently there than I can in our system and we have a chance to be more personal. One aspect that gets really difficult is patient privacy and to feel like they have space, that nurses have space, that the doctors have the room that they need to see patients is just really important. With a little bit more space to accommodate families, to accommodate the doctors and nurses that come to provide cancer care. We are really going to have a state-of-the-art facility that we can be proud of. In so many ways, a surgery department is the engine of any hospital, and it's so important to all communities to have a strong surgery program that has surgeons representing many different specialties. With our new facilities and technology, we'll be able to do an even better job taking care of our surgical patients. Well, we're really looking forward to the expansion of the operating rooms. We'll have six state-of-the-art rooms built. I think we anticipate outfitting four of those, which will be an increase from our current three. And the most important part of it is that all of these rooms will be of a size that will accommodate uh, the new technology and provide for a much more comfortable environment for our patients and for our surgeons. There are several key improvements with the expansion plan that will enhance the patient's care provided by the surgeon, anesthesia, the OR nurse, and the surgical technologist. These include addition of three new surgical suites, complete renovation and expansion of the three existing suites, addition of state-of-the-art integrated surgical equipment, renovation of the recovery area and sterile processing department, and the addition of a dedicated surgery registration and family waiting area. It's nice to have a, a new facility, new operating rooms that can accommodate the technology and provide for what I agree is a, a, re a remarkable medical community given the size of the community. The hospital's obstetrics department and the rooms where we deliver new babies and take care of newborns and their families have not seen any significant renovation since 1991. We've really outgrown our space in, and it's been that way for at least 10 years. So we're really looking for more space so that we can provide for the growth of the valley. So we're really pleased that we're going to have a brand new family birth center that will be able to take care of all of the women in this community as well as the families they're bringing to us. Our current labor and delivery unit has one tub for the entire unit. So at any given time, of course, only one patient can be using that tub. Um, so the ability to, for each patient to have their own personal tub within their room for privacy will be excellent. And the birth experience has changed so much. Now, really, entire families are part of bringing a new loved one into a family. And our space needs to be able to accommodate the needs of these families. I think the new expansion is going to launch us into the next century for OB care. Patients will see a dramatic improvement in services and comfort levels. 
at the hospital. I think physicians, myself, I will love it because of the, the new dedicated obstetrical OR suite, which we really, really need to accommodate our C-sections. My name is Jenny Mayfield. I had a baby in June of this year at St. John's Hospital. And I think my experience is quite unique. Um, after delivering my child, it turns out that I had a really rare condition, um, which is life-threatening to the mother. Um, I was so sick, I couldn't be medevaced out of here. I, I would have died without um, that premier care being available here in Teton County. So I really relied on the services at St. John's, and I just can't say enough great things. This expansion project is really not only important to the community, but it's also important to survival of this hospital, which is an extremely important part of the community. We know that the community cares so much about this hospital having a fine building, the state-of-the-art technology, the caring doctors and expertise of our entire staff, so that people don't have to travel for care when it's very, very possible to have excellent care available locally. The doctors and the nurses and the other staff here at St. John's are your friends and neighbors. You know, we're the folks who would like to take care of you, and now with our new facility, we are going to be in a much better position to be able to do that. St. John's is an amazing institution in that I was so impressed from the moment I walked into the doors to the quality, the emphasis on safety, and then the friendly atmosphere. We do good work, and this is a gem in the community. Having a brand new facility also, I think, matches the quality of care that we provide. We're state-of-the-art, and we want to look state-of-the-art.